Hey guys, welcome back to Daily Duel. So today is Tuesday, and that means we are using Bujins. And you know what I can't believe? I can't believe I'm already at 900. 900 subscribers, guys. Wow. Thank you. I didn't, I didn't, I thought it was going to be much longer until I reached it. I wasn't even sure if I was going to make it. You know, I kept on going up and down and up and down with subscribers, and I'm just like shocked that I'm, I'm at 900. Like, wow. You know, I'm glad that all my hard work that I put into into you know doing these videos is actually paying off so thank you guys for just you know watching my videos supporting me I wish I would have went first so I could go ahead and go Thunder King when he goes ahead actually I can't special summon anyway so hell yeah I'm hella gonna go Thunder King when he uh tries to summon his lead blow like hell yeah so good but just thank you like I, I, I didn't I don't have anything planned anything special uh as of right now uh, you know, a thousand, I will definitely have something ready for you guys. A thousand is definitely, uh, gonna be something special, but 900, uh, I don't know. This is it, me thanking you guys for right now. I'm actually very busy and have my hands full with a lot of, uh, classes, college, oh, well, college classes, uh, new series going up on Vibe and Y, etc., etc. So, uh, you know, just, uh, just thank you for watching the videos. Thank you guys for all the support. This guy's gonna quit. And I guess I'll get ahead and get another duel, and so I'll be right back. All right, we're back. So, like I said, uh, new series, especially the new series part, because uh, South Park actually ends today. So I'm actually putting a trailer out for the series that will be uh, replacing uh, South Park in the one o'clock time slot S soon. Uh, it actually be going up also today, so. You know, look forward to that. I really think that the series is going to do well, and I also think that it's going to bring a lot of uh, uh, viewers and slash subscribers. And even if you're not into it and you're only here for the Yu-Gi-Oh, it's still a series that you should check out because it's still going to be a uh, prevalent series to watch. So, so I put in Veilers. I think I actually had them in there last time, but it, you know. With me playing like Royal Decree and stuff, you know, I have to have some way to stop my opponent. Besides, you know, the model locking it down. But yeah, this deck is pretty much just a lockdown deck. Like, just lock it down and win. You know, it's not the most entertaining uh, deck on on uh, on daily duels, but you know, it is probably one of the most powerful decks in this in you know the meta right now. So, you know, to beat it, you gotta join it at first and learn how it's played. So. I can definitely see how this deck can be a nuisance, you know, Yamato having the hair protected with a Veiler and a Lance and a Kaiser, that's like, ugh, you know, how do I, how the hell do I get around that? You know, all I have to do is just throw down a Royal Decree, and that, you know, that, that could be game, so. But yeah, 900. You know, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting it, you know, like I said, I was going up and down subscribers, and I said, I want to thank SS Jason for just, you know, allowing my video to go up on his channel, I mean, it was getting some dislikes, it was getting some hate, but it definitely brought in a lot of subscribers. Um, and the thing is that uh, uh, Underworld 6667 has been putting up videos, you know, revealing the next great YouTubers. I think you just put up like the third one villain, the third person that's in. Um, I was between the 6 and the 8, so eventually I'll get a video up on his channel stating that I'm one of the next great YouTubers and I'll probably get subscribers from that too so you know networking is definitely great it gives you a lot of gets you a lot of viewers a lot of subscribers and you know I'm glad that uh, you guys are enjoying the content and also I'm getting a lot of feedback from you guys so, you know I'm seeing some comments people stating that they're from SS Jason that they're enjoying the content that they're enjoying my my commentary and my duels and you know what I just want to welcome you guys so I already did a video welcoming you guys but just thank you for you know continuing to support me and checking out my content you know I'm one of them underground uh, you youtuber slash entertainers I really feel that if I get the opportunity I can get big I can become you know really big and really famous just because of how consistent I am you know you, you even if you know you don't like everything that I put out you you know that there's gonna be something every day for you guys you know? All right. Well, instead of conducting your turn, you decided just to pass it to me. So, you know, no, screw it. Cause that, that's one of the things that they they do down in Dead Pro. Instead of just you know your opponent winning the duel, uh, it's passed to your opponent. I think you get three strikes and you're out. So, th this is actually a good chance to actually show this off. Cause I actually wanted to kind of show this. So, I'm gonna go ahead and set more back row. Even though it's notch, just roll to Korean lances, and I'll just poke you for 19. And like I said I can take the duel slow. 
if you don't want to take your turn, that's fine. I'll pretty much just do it by myself. I'll just play by my play with myself. Play by myself. It's 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 play by myself. Cause if you say play with myself, then yeah, I'm, I'm, then I'm doing something that I shouldn't be doing on daily doles, right? <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop that turtle. And I'm I'm gonna pass it back to you. And if you want to go ahead and conduct your turn, then go ahead, sir. I mean, this time it might be a conundrum because, you know, during the end phase, he's going to have to discard a card from his hand, but yet, you know, if he's not playing, then who the hell's going to discard the card? Because I think it's three strikes and you're out for not, you know, your bar filling up. So, this time, I don't know. I think it might just either discard a random card out of his hand or maybe uh, just make me win the duel. I don't know. I don't know. So, I, I want to find out. Like, unless he starts dueling, I want to find out. So, I apologize that you're not seeing any duels right now. But, you know, hopefully my commentary is not turn you. But this is a test for me. I want to see what happens. Well, will I discard a random card? Will he discard a card? What will happen? Because I feel like this guy's kind of AFK. You know, if you quit and you feel like I've locked down the duel, then go ahead and just surrender. Or just, you know, close your, uh, close this window out and go into another duel. But, you know, you shouldn't just be sitting here doing nothing. Well, you look like you accepted my my challenge because I'm I'm the one that hosted and then just walked away. So whatever. So uh, I was you know I was just going up and down in subscribers. I was like around 870. Sometimes at one point I was at 880 and then I went back down to 870 and it was just up and down and up and down. Then put that video on SS Jason's channel and it was just like getting a whole bunch of subscribers. Then I hit the 900 mark. Uh, I believe I hit the 900 mark about Saturday night, and the thing with me is that when I hit the 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 landmark, I don't want to state anything for a little while because if I do, then you know I could easily lose like a subscriber or two and drop below that landmark. But now, as of this video, I'm at like 907, so I feel like this is a good time to go ahead and state. I mean, of course, I record this a day ahead. It's actually Monday at like 7 o'clock in the morning. I got college, but I woke up early, so I decided just to go ahead and record. But, uh, yeah, at this point, Monday morning, about 7 o'clock, I see, and that's the thing. Sunday night, about 900. Monday morning, 7, I mean 907. So I've literally gained, like, you know, 6 or 7 subscribers in my sleep. It's annoying, I must admit. Okay, so what's gonna happen? Because he has to discard a card, but then he can't, so what happens? The bar is full, so it's... Like I said, it's just gonna keep, it's gonna, it's gonna ask him to pitch a card, but he's not there, so... Yeah, that, that's something that you're gonna have to fix, Dev Pro, because it's literally if your opponent goes AFK, then you know what. You know, I like it that, you know, that you made the bar fill up for people taking too long instead of making them lose the pass turn. But when people are going AFK like this, what do I do? I literally can't do nothing. Oh, okay. So that's how it goes. Oh, okay. So you just wait a little bit longer and then time limit, so break. So that's cool. So I will get another duel in, so be right back. Alright, we're back. So, uh, if you guys don't know, uh, my email is actually hooked up to my phone. So, oh, well, you want me to go first? Um, I know you guys, that they like the whole new ruling with, uh, you know, the player going first doesn't draw the additional card. But in my opinion, setup is way more important. I would rather have be nice and set up, especially with this deck with Yamato, than go second and then run into all his back row and all his plays. So, definitely, even if he didn't like me to go first and I won the and I won the paper boxers, I would have chose first. But now, literally, I can block my my Yamato with hair, and if Yamato dies, I can literally just go boot incarnation. So, so like I said, that's a good play. All right, you want to upstart me? You want to Hoban? I don't like Hobaning. Reckless is broke and it should be put down to one, but upstart, it's not even that good. No, that's fine. You want a one for one? That's fine. It's a lance. It's a lance. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? I couldn't even get like an English version of him. No, that's fine. That's a good card. So. so. Oh, so you're dropping me by 600. Hmm. You mean like this? 
that's how it's done. That's how it's done. Always activate during the damage step. Draw. Oh, they're cool. Much in your graveyard when you banish with much so all right so if you mirror forces me then I can block it with hair if it does prison me I'll be banished so then I can activate boots incarnation so I'm gonna go for the attack so go ahead deprison me nope I'm just gonna take the 18 cool so I'm gonna go ahead and end my turn I can make you motto go ahead and give me my turtle so then I can't be tar destroyed or targeted so that would be good so far, not really impressed by this guy's plays. It was cute. It was cute. I mean, no one, no one plays dress. No one. Don't play dress. Dress isn't that good. Don't play it. There's way better cards than written dress. What does written dress do? It's like it loses 600 and something. Can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects. You want to bounce the Yamato back to my hand? Nah, that's fine. That's totally fine. Because I have a Dark Hole in my hand, so if you think that you're going to like summon a whole bunch of monsters and go off this turn, go right ahead, I'm just going to Dark Hole you, then summon my Yamato, so no, that's fine. I want you to use up your resources. Please. Please, and if it's, some, and if it's something to, you know, get in my way... No, you're revealing everything to me. Uh, once per turn when a trap card is activated... Nope, that's fine. That's totally fine. Sure, go ahead, go into him. Attack me for 25. I don't care. Because when you get Dark Hold, you're going to be out of resources. And, get, and you give the game out of resources. So, I, yeah, I totally let you do that. That's cool. Yeah. I thought, I thought you were going to take those guys and poke me and then search. So I was kind of like, eh, but now... Oh, I got Tanky, so I can literally go Tanky Bear, get a chair, and throw it at you. I can. I actually, I'm going to do that. Because I'd rather save my Dark Hole for if this duel turns around, but I doubt it. I doubt it. I'm so up on resources that this opponent, my opponent might as well just quit. So we'll go ahead and just summon Bear. Bear throw a chair. So I'm glad that you used up all them damn resources to make this guy. And the funny thing is that he, when trap cards are activated, the only trap card in here is Royal Decree, so he's really afraid of my background. He's afraid of this one card, that's Book of Moons, so I could have stopped him from attacking me anyway, but it wasn't worth it. I'll take the 25. I'll take the 25. I'm, I'm a smart duelist, I'll take the 25. I mean, I think I'm a smart duelist. I mean, sometimes I misplay like everybody, but, you know, uh, not most of the time, I'm, I'm a good duelist, so. His plays weren't smart. I, he should have he should have poked me because when this card inflicts damage to your opponent, you can add one heroic card in your deck to your hand. That would have been great. Beautiful top deck. Beautiful top deck. Rhoda, awesome, awesome. So go ahead and search for another one of this guy. No, a different guy. Uh, once per turn, you can discard one heroic card, special summon one heroic card from your deck. Okay, well I don't have to worry about it. And once again, you're messing it up. You're stupid. What? Never. If bear is on the field, never set. Never, ever, ever set. Kill the bear. Because I'm literally going to go activate Tanky. Tanky search. Get me another beast warrior. Bear throw the chair at your damn monster. I shit you not. That's what I'm going to do. I shit you not. So. Probably should have thought that out a little bit better, man. I'm sorry. Not going to hold everybody's hand when they play Yu-Gi-Oh. I'll go ahead and just summon... Yamato, attack, attack. Nope. Of course I'll get a chair. And he'll be at a thousand. Fuck, he's not even cowboy territory. Oh, you know what? I can still go into someone who's really awesome, so. Oh, I didn't even read it. Once per turn, you can discard one hero card, special summon one hero monster from your deck. If you do, change this card to defense. If you activate this card, you cannot special summon any of monsters versus the turn. Right on. When you take damage from an attack, a card back on this card in your graveyard, you can special summon this card. You can attack this and you can only attack this card. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Because you know what I'm going to go into? 
I'm going to go into Heartland Draco, and then I'm literally going to activate Kaiser, so that's going to be game, because not only can you not attack me, but then I can just attack you directly, and you can't summon any more monsters, so it's not like you even summon something and go into 101, so that's literally game. So, uh, go ahead and shake my hand. I mean, you could Dark Hole, but then I'll just summon a monster and poke you, so that's, that's game. So, go ahead and shake my hand. Come on, reach out. GG. Upstart, sure, give me more life points. Try to draw into something. I doubt it, though. Even if you draw into MST to Papa Kaiser, I still got it, so... There's nothing you can draw into that can stop me. I mean, even if there is some miracle-ass card that you can draw to stop me, I can always just go Dark Hole, Summon, Attack, so... So, go ahead and check my hand. That is GG, sir. It was a good duel. Not really. I was pretty much in control of the fucking duel the entire time. Sure, go into defense mode. Awesome. I'm just gonna deactivate my effect and attack you directly, so... So I'll go ahead and just activate my effect, and just come at you directly. No. That's game, sir. Attack. Of course I'll attack directly. Game! Ugh. Um... I'll get one more in. Bear back. Alright, we're back, and we're going against Dark World fans, so I wonder what he's playing. You gonna be shocked and surprised if he's running Dark Worlds? I wouldn't be. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this. Activate this. Play hair. Set the lance. Because hair is at least a 17 beater, so... Lance, I can at least come a cuzzy with a 25 beater. My minimum, so... So let's see if we're going up against Dark World fan, if we're going up against Dark Worlds. No, we're going up against frickin' uh Light Swords. No, that's fine. No. <laughs> so, Light Swords, okay. You gonna attack me? Nope. Turn damage step. Let's... Don't touch me. I might drop a level 4 Moodyer monster and be able to exceed next turn, so... No, don't touch me. Draw. Nope, it's another Lance. I guess that's fine. So I'll go ahead and just poke you for 17. I believe you can't even drop Boris because you have to at least play the token. So, even when I get a shitty hand, I can still lock it down. Anyway, I've got enough topic. Uh, my email's connected to my phone, so I get all the emails to my phone. So those subscribers, the subscribers that I get, and my phone's going off like all night. I can even hear it going off all night. I was also getting comments and stuff. And uh, comments, I can reply to comments uh, on my phone, so even if I'm not home. I don't want to draw this, but I'll go ahead and set this just to scare the shit out of my opponent. So is this Raikou or something? I'm going to have to attack it anyway, so go ahead. Is it Raikou? Yes, it is. Awesome. Sure. And pop my hair. Oh, he's using that version of Light Swords. Hey. Hey. Kaiser. <laughs> really? So he's using that fucking, that fucking Dragon Ruler deck with the dra Dragon Ruler Light Swords that could survive him because it's supposed to be tier 0, so pro. It's inconsistent. Doesn't have room for protection. I mean, this is a good deck to be dueling against with this deck because I don't have any, uh, I'm a slower deck, so that's good, but this deck will easily be getting a shit beat out of it. It's too aggressive. Way too aggressive. I'm glad that wolf went off. I gotta say, there's a pretty good chance that he is going to drop I'll summon you. Uh the thing is is that I don't want to kill his Aaron, because he has one, two, three, four oh he has four. So he can he can drop JD on my ass, so 
uh, I'd rather go into uh, Heartland Draco and stall. Because it's not like he can summon any monsters. He can't summon any more monsters because Kaiser, so. So I'm going ahead and just poke you directly. And this is the time where I wish I was running two Heartland Dracos. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've always been considering running two Heartland Dracos because this is the situation. Because I'm going to rip out 4,000, but he'll still have 15 left, so. Hopefully, I can get something to turn around the duel. But there's not much you can do right now. I mean, and, and also at the rate that he's milling, I could probably just deck him out. You can't summon more any monsters than me, and you can't play, and you can't attack me, so. The only problem I would have right now is for with, uh, uh, what's her face? Christy, what's her name? Christia? No, no. Is that her name? I can't remember. Can't attack me. I have a face up. I can't remember her name to save my damn life. Uh. So I could probably deck you out. Oh, you were trying to attack me. I thought you had honest, but you didn't. Oh, Booge Incarnation. Well, can't use that right now. So I'll go ahead and just activate my effect again. And detach. I'll poke it directly again for another uh, 15. And this is, like I said, this is the time where I wish I had uh, two Heartland Dracos in the extra deck. But then I can literally just summon another one and then just attack directly again for game, so. But I think it would be funny just to deck this guy out, just lock down the duel and deck this guy out. You know, it'd be awesome if you could, like, banish that Equip Sriven, and then and then get back the, the, JD, the JD. Oh, wait, you can't, because you can't summon any more monsters, and you still can't attack me. So go ahead and end, mill off three more. Mm-hmm. Yep. So if you want to quit, you can go right ahead. Sure! Oh, you're out of targets. Yeah, you're out of targets. So, one JD's in the grave, one JD's right there, so one there's a JD in your hand. So I was smart not to attack your, uh, your Aaron. You were just going to drop JD on my ass, so, yep. I wonder if he plays me if he has room for any Tragodius or something, because I think I think this now is the time to push, because if I attack. Well he's been trying to attack me, I don't know why. I think it's cause he wants to get to get the Aaron off the field. I think that's it. He wants to attack me, but then he can't. So I can attack into him, he'll take four hundred and then just drop the Quillen, so Quillen will go for game. He, like I said, this deck doesn't have room to be playing protection cards such as Gores or Tragodia, so I don't have to worry about that. So I should push. No, I'm not gonna push. I'm not gonna push. Nope, 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 not gonna push. Not gonna push. I need to build up resources in case he does figure out a way out of this lock, actually. Take this duel slow. I'm Bujins. I'm slow. I'll win the duel eventually. Sure, you can turn to defense. I don't give a shit. You guess how many fucks I give? Zero. Mill three more. Come on, keep milling. Yeah, sure. Yes, awesome. Not just card a card out of your hand. Do you have too many? Oh, what? I locked down. I locked you down, and there's nothing you can do right now, and you're upset. Bet you wish you were running that fucking uh that fucking tribute one. That would have got you out of this situation. You could have just tribute and summoned right over the Aaron, So. Good. I, I can wait. Told you. The deck is way too aggressive and it gets locked down way too easily. Where's MSTs? I haven't seen any MSTs at all. Oh, now you're back in attack. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. You're not attacking? Shocked. Any MSTs? No. You should be running MSTs. Because people are going to lock you down. They're a side for you. They're going to side out for you. And you're gonna get it, and you're not gonna have anything. Because literally, this deck does not have enough room to be running any side cards, or any defensive cards, any anything. Sure, she can go off. Who cares? She can't be summoned. So, thank you for milling out your deck even faster. So, what, I got like two more turns to wait? That's great. That's great. That's awesome. I can totally wait. 
Thunder King Ryo, so I can literally drop that when he tries to summon the JD, but nah, that's cool. Nope, I'll take the duel slow. I'm gonna win this through you ducking out. <laughs> so, you're gonna mill three during the end phase, then you'll have, what, two more left? You'll draw, then you'll mill, so you got, like, one more turn left. One, two more turns left. Sucks that you're not running any MSTs. You should be, but... Nah. Nah, and I got room for MST. I'm supposed to be the aggressive dragon ruler. Light sworn, light ray, da 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 da. Oh, sure, sure. At this point, do you have, have any more targets? Oh, yeah, the Illumina. Awesome. Alright, so, uh, Aaron's gonna mill you off your last card, and then I'll just pass you, and you'll draw, and you can't draw, so you lose. So, awesome. So, I'm glad that your deck is so damn aggressive that you literally couldn't even get out a simple lock like this. MST is a savior. Dex to aggressive. No uh, room for uh, uh, opponent play corrections. You should be playing MST. I knew it. I knew it. as soon as I saw the Dragon Rulers with the lights on, I was like, I'm gonna lock him, and he's not gonna be able to do any place. Because that's the problem with this deck. You, really, you shouldn't be playing this deck at all, because it's, too, it's way too aggressive. When you get off your points, it's great. You can OTK, and it's awesome. It's awesome. But when your opponent starts, when you go into games twos and threes, your opponent starts signing in that shit that you know you're gonna get hit by, then what do you do? Because, like I said, this deck does not have any room to side out. Like I said, I, I, I consider myself a fairly a fairly skilled duelist, and I, I can pick out the weaknesses of decks, and this is clearly one of the deck's weaknesses right here. He has no MST, and he can't simply get out of slot. His, his, you know, his, his MST is Lila, but, you know, you can't always rely on Lila. You can't always rely on that bitch. So, we'll go ahead and just call this game, sir. So if you want to go ahead and surrender, or I don't know what you want to do. I guess you want to just waste my time. I don't really care. I got nothing to do for like the next hour. So I'll probably watch YouTube videos. Yeah, I got some Common Rider to watch. I don't need your motto. I mean, I have your motto. Motto in hand, but. Why play it? It would open up a slot for Kaiser, and I know you have a JD in hand. So instead of playing Yamato, just chill it. So you lose. Yep. Alright, guys, so. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. Sorry that, you know, some of it was slow. It was really slow. But, like I said, thank you for 900 subs. Uh, continue to support me and uh, view my material. Support me, the next great YouTuber. The, the competition hasn't started yet. He's only picked, like, I don't even think 20 people yet. So, you know, it's still a while before he's nice and ready to go. But, uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with Mermels. Thanks for watching.